in the name of the one who is the peace and give peace dear viewers welcome to our program 50 ways to happiness this is ways 20 a smile a smile is contagious not only a smile is contagious it affects your body which would include your face your brain and also it affects your health overall as well as it would affect people around you I did some research on this topic a smile and there are so many articles so many essays and research about this simple act happiness is related to a smile so the act of smiling is very important and crucial and significant I read in one of the websites psychologicaltoday.com they list so many benefits of smiling I just mentioned few for us to understand the significance of a smile in our life number one a smile makes people look younger than their actual age number two a smiling makes you look thinner and makes you feel makes you makes people look at you uh, lighter and there are so many examples that they give if someone is heavy if he smile they, they did some experiments if he or she smiles the viewers someone who look at them they look thinner than their actual weight they look lighter and they give examples like if someone has a gloomy face drowned face long face that look makes them look uh, heavier in the eyes of the viewers but on the other hand if they smile big smile they look uh, thinner number three smiling elevates your mood and also increase uh, sense of well-being not only is smiling elevates your uh, mood one of the author who wrote a book about a smile the the name of the book is the astonishing powers of simple act so he in, in that book mentioned that when someone is smile it gives pleasure to the brain as much as someone eats chocolate we know that eating chocolate makes someone hyper and it, they feel full of energy so he did some experiments and of course this book is based on some experiments and research it shows that if you smile it's as though you're eating chocolate <laughs> it's amazing that uh, all these research is uh, conducted in relation to a smile and also the research further indicates that if you smile even if it's fake smile even if you force your yourself to smile it leads to 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 it boost it boosts your your mood 
it to increase your mood basically it uh, switch your mood from negative to positive and they, they did some experiments on people and uh, how to how to smile how to force yourself to a smile they give some they provide some methods for people who want to force themselves to smile for example they say that if you put a pen in your mouth or pencil in your uh, in your mouth like that um, it they they would see the they scan the brain and they see the the impact of the force uh, a smile on the brain the positive impact of the um, uh, force a smile on the brain and the 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 observation on the other hand if someone put the pen on her or uh, his mouth uh, like that to pull the muscle down uh, it would also affect their brain in a negative way when they observe things after doing that act they may see different differently so even it affects this uh, the way they look at, uh, at things people who are happy and people who are not happy so these are the research that they conducted in relation to a smile and also a smile is something that uh, makes relationship and marriage stronger if a spouse wife and husband they are smile and they, they smile at each other and they force themselves to smile in some uh, cases it, uh, it makes the relationship stronger as well as a smiling makes someone likable if someone is smile they look more pleasant and likable in the eyes of viewers so these are the research that scientists conducted uh, about the significance of a smile and the positive impact of a smile on our life. So now all this research uh, lead us to the saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's, it's, it's recorded uh, or narrated by uh, Jabir ibn Abdullah that um, he mentioned that when I became Muslim every time I met Prophet he smiles at me so it shows the importance of the smile that the Prophet smile at, at his companions and anyone who came in contact with the Prophet they would see a happy face however we know that the Prophet uh, Muhammad peace be upon him he had uh, a lot of hardship from the time that he started preaching all the way to the to his uh, last uh, uh, moments he, he, he was facing challenges different different type of challenges but he was still maintaining to a smile so it's very important for us to smile uh, no matter uh, what kind of problem we have but we have to do this for our own benefits it benefit us as uh, the, in the research in the kids not only the the narrator of the hadith uh, indicates that the prophet was smiling at him or he always found the prophet uh, with a smiley face uh, the prophet muhammad peace be upon him also emphasized on the importance of a smile to the to the extent that he he mentioned that uh, your smile at your uh, brother faces charity so this statement is very very important for us to understand so when we talk about uh, uh, smiling and the positive impact of a smile sometimes we force ourselves to smile or we do uh, a smile in real but it's all limited to this world but when the prophet uh, uh, mention the concept of charity it it's it go, the smiling goes beyond this world so now we understand that when we smile not only would benefit us in this world it would also benefit us in in the next we know that charity mostly of course it has some uh, positive impact 
on our life in this world but charity is something that we we give charity in order to get reward in the hereafter so now this hadith gave us few things number one when you have good intention while you're smiling your smile is real if you have real smile of course it would it would have more impact and positive impact on yourself and on people whom you're uh, interacting with number two when you smile not only you gain benefits in this world but you also gain benefit in the hereafter but i give some uh, warning for uh, 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 talking about a smile so these warnings are related to a smile so number one if you're Muslim and you're listening to this, there are some rulings in relation to uh, interacting with op opposite sex. If you're a man and you're interacting with opposite sex or woman, uh, there are some rulings limiting this kind of interaction. You cannot just stand in front of a woman and keep smiling at, at her. Or in some cultures, they may slap you in the face if you smile at someone's wife or sister. Uh, it's very important for us to know the sensitivity of the, the cultures that uh, we, we interact with, those people who come from different cultures, different backgrounds. And also, we, we shouldn't smile when we go to a graveyard, if someone, the family is, is dead. Uh, and they are in the grave uh, at the graveyard funeral home or any other places that you find people who who who, who had just uh, loss of member of the family or loved ones uh, you have to uh, understand that this is not the time to smile if everyone is crying and everyone is sad and depressed you can just walk in the, in the <laughs> In the, the, in the room and keep smiling. People would be like, look at this uh, uh, strange individual. Uh, there's, there's a place for, for a smile. Number, uh, number three, uh, when someone is discussing sensitive issue, someone is suffering or they, they are going through some hardship and problem and difficulties and they trust you and they, f they find you trustworthy they come and dis they discuss their personal life with you to um, get, uh, get some advice uh, you have to put yourself in their shoes and you have you have to maintain uh, uh, your smile uh, to um, uh, you, you shouldn't smile basically you shouldn't smile and you shouldn't laugh and you shouldn't you should um, you must listen to them carefully and put yourself in their shoes and advise them uh, sincerely uh, to to help your brother and sisters if they approach you number four as i mentioned be aware of uh, some cultures they are very uh, there are some cultures they are very sensitive if you smile while someone is talking with you they would think that you're not taking them seriously especially if they're uh, older than you uh, when they talk you have to uh, respect them and you shouldn't smile sometimes smiling in those situations would uh, uh, make people believe that you're not taking them seriously or you're uh, making fun of their their talks or the discussion that you're uh, involved at at the time when you smile don't go too extreme sometimes you know people become uh, extreme uh, in uh, smiling or laughing it's not good to go too extreme if you become too extreme in the smiling people will think that there's some <laughs> something wrong with you mentally you, you might be this uh, uh, challenge uh, or or some some people may think that you're uh, awkward and weirdo uh, we cannot just walk into a mall and keep uh, smiling and everyone who comes across you or you may uh, smile but you have to keep it uh, moderate uh, so these this are the the uh, uh, tips and the reminder that I provide you I hope you will find it uh, beneficial if you do please make sure you share this with your um, with your friends and followers thank you so much